Hey guys, welcome to my live action VHS update number 11. I like to hurry up and get through this. I have a good bit here. Um, so I'm going to show you these. They're not e even in alphabetical order, so they're not in any order whatsoever. Anyways, first up, Wolfen, the Warner Brothers Hits Collection. I did pay 99 cents for that. I like to get the original VHS box, but that's probably a, a lot of money. But anyways, Trading Places, I paid a dollar for this at a thrift store. Star Wars, Episode 4. Spider-Man 2, I have Spider-Man 1 on VHS. I have all, all the DVDs, but uh, I have Part 1 on VHS. Smokey and the Bandit. Mr. Baseball. My dad used to rent a lot of movies on pay-per-view back in the early 90s, and this was one of them. Mr. Baseball was one movie he rented on pay-per-view. House on Haunted Hill. Ghost in the Machine. This is the screener copy, full-length feature screener copy. And yeah, I paid a dollar for that. And my mom rent, rented this movie on pay-per-view back, back in the early 90s. Dune. I have the original Dune. This is Dune, the widescreen, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, widescreen edition. And I paid a dollar for this, even though there's a big sticker there. Oh, that's the price I paid, 99 cent. And I wanted the widescreen one on VHS. Finally found it and paid one dollar. I don't care about that giant sticker there. Special edition of Close Encounters of, of the Third Kind. I paid 99 cents for that one. And uh, I paid 99 cents for this. I used to watch this with my sister back in, I believe it was the 80s. Jeez. And I don't think my sister even remembers this. But I used to watch it a lot back then with her. 99 cents, I paid for that. And now I have some VHS here, right behind the camera. Crawl, that's a good one. 99 cents. And by good, I don't mean it's a good movie. I mean, it's good to have, have a VHS copy of this as a collector. Lady Dragon 2. I don't have one, but I've seen two for 99 cents, so I went ahead and picked it up. This one I just bought today for 50 cents. 50 cents. Usually they're a dollar, but this one I paid 50 cents for this at a yard sale, I mean a thrift store. And from that same lady, I bought this here for 50 cents. And so I, all I had to do is give her a dollar. So anyways, uh, I have all four, I have all four of the Lethal Weapon movies on VHS. Cold World. Similar to uh, uh, Roger Rabbit. Chuck Norris movie Sidekicks. I rented this on VHS back when it was uh, under release. I never owned it though until now. I have a bunch of Chuck Norris movies on, on VHS. The very old edition of uh, The Great Muppet Caper. This is the uh, CBS, this is the white CBS Fox logo. Another white CBS Fox logo logo copy right there. My lighting's pretty bad now. My lighting depends on how it is outside for some reason. 
That's why I keep the blinds open. Jumpin' Jack Flash. This is one I used to watch with my mom back when it was airing on uh, HBO back in the day. Or was it Showtime? Or Cinemax? I don't know. I think it was HBO. Uh, the Omen. The a white. The white CBS Fox logo of The Omen. Now I have actually two two other copies of this. Uh, a newer edition with a newer cover which isn't even open yet plus I have another copy of Omen but I'm not sure if the other copy I have is the white CBS Fox logo or the red one so I mean if it's the white one it's no biggie having two copies The Empire Strikes Back the white CBS Fox logo this one is beat up and I had no choice but to pay a dollar for this this one's really beat up because I have all the editions. I have the red editions, and I have all three red editions. But I needed the this white edition. I have the two white editions, but don't have the Empire Strikes Back until now. I just got it, so now I have all the whites and reds. Some Godzillas, Godzilla King of the Monsters. Yeah. 99 cents of price I paid for that. Godzilla vs. Megalon. 99 cent. Godzilla vs. De Destroyer. Godzilla 2000. I've seen this on Crackle. You might be able, if you have Crackle, it's free. You might be able to still watch this on Crackle. I've seen quite a few Godzilla movies on Crackle last year. I don't know if it's still on Crackle or not. I like how that's an embossed cover there. And the last one I have, the original King Kong which is the 60th anniversary edition of the VHS. And this one is has the uh, factory seal on it, but it's been cut at the bottom. And that, this is the last one. I have so many more to show, but I don't want to waste too much time, so I'll make them in parts. Thanks for watching, guys.